Hey, everybody. How's it going? Okay, give me a second here. Let me enlarge the chat. F11 that. Pop that out. Gracie, go lay down, baby. Go lay down. Oh, I hear a gun next door. Yeah, that's a gun. That's right. That's our neighbor. Hi, Manette. How's it going? Alex, Jennifer. I'll tell you what. Howie has a new trailer. Well, not new, but a, a, uh, a trailer for his car. And he sold the other one that he bought that wasn't going to do. So he sold it and then he bought um, another one. And he's out there now reinforcing it and putting tires on it and making it, you know, wow, it's, I, I'll be right back. I got to go take my pants off. I'm getting too hot. I'll be right back. I'll be wearing short pants and a tank top because I left the garden. I scratch my back now. Hate it when my back gets sweaty. Oh. Get off of there. There we go. Hey, sorry. Oi. Oi. How's everybody doing? Oh. Hey, hey, hey. Let me pop out the chat now that seems to be everybody seems to be coming in now. Alex, Autumn, Blackrock, Manette, Jane, Jennifer, Laura, Lynn, Rita, and Rosie Bernard. Is that the only po folks here or is that just those that are saying hi? Oh, my back's all sweaty now. Hang on. I have a towel on the back of my chair. Oh, for a reason. Hi, Tony. Isaacs. Nat. Leanne Bishop. So... Howie and I went for a Sunday drive today. Um, we went to Mont St. Marie and bought a tire for Howie's trailer. Then we went to Manawaki to go to the Canadian Tire. And I tried to phone Raf, but it went straight to voicemail. So I figured she was at a, uh, at a craft sale or something today for her soap. And... You just got two blueberry plants? Gracie, what are you growling at? Gracie, what are you growling? Never mind, I don't want her. I don't want her attention. So we stopped at the Dollarama and I bought some bags for my kitchen garbage can because I hate using a full-size kitchen garbage bag can for a half-size thing. And they had seeds on three for a buck. So I got zucchini, parsley, basil, I hear something else I got. I got two bags of Spanish onions in the bulbs because mine, when I start them by seed, they only get to be about that big. So I'm hoping this will, um, I'm hoping that will, will give me bigger onions in the fall because onions aren't getting any cheaper. They aren't. So, but guess what? I got three beds of garlic.
power off. Okay, there you go. Um, I got garlic coming up in three beds. Mm. I have, and the strawberry plant plants I planted last year seem to be doing okay. Um, your Dollarama didn't have zucchini. Oh no. Hey, freaky geek. Carol Benjamin. How are you? So I went out because I said to Howie, when we saw there was still some snow on the beds from the other, we got a bit of snow the other day. I saw green poking up and I said, that looks like garlic. And he said, I think you're right. The garlic bed that I harvested last year that I thought I got nothing from, I must have left like, I don't know, a dozen and a half garlic, over a dozen garlic bulbs in. And uh, the back two beds where I planted them the year before, there's more coming up. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant my leeks in among the garlics so that like, like my, my, my leeks and onions, because they're all going to get pulled up anyway in the fall, right? So, oh, and here's something else. Do you remember? Um, oh, it's beautiful. It's, it's beautiful. Uh, so when we got home, I went out and I started pulling some, some old dead plants out of the garden. And, uh, and I found all this garlic. So I'm going to plant lots of onions and, and cause I thought that might not be enough, but I'm starting to think that that's like two beds. So I've got onions, I've got onions, I've got garlic coming up. And do you remember the onions when I was, um, making the, uh, rumbledy tumps and the green onions that I had used? And I, I, I was on a live stream when I cut them and I was planting tomatoes and I cut the bottoms off those green onions and I planted them in a pot. Look, look, look at that. And I figure I'll just, they may need a bigger pot soon. I figure I'll just, when they get big enough, I'll just cut them all down again and use them in a recipe and put them in a bigger pot and I'll just keep letting them grow all summer long. Hey, we're hoping the clouds are clear tomorrow afternoon so we can view the eclipse. I live in the part. I don't know if we're going to see it or not. Like what time is the eclipse at? Because I live in, I live in Quebec, so maybe we'll see it. Is out finally building the arbor for our giant grapevine 15 years later. Do you get lots of grapes? Are they Concord? They sweet? They seedless? What? Hey, Jammin! Just a mom doing stuff. She'd be jamming. Beautiful day today. Just got home from a nice long walk while I went for a drive with Howie. And then I went, went for a drive with Howie, went to Canadian Tire, um, went to Dollarama. And then I went, yeah, when we got back, I went into the garden and I pulled up a bunch of stuff and discovered I got lots of garlic growing. That wine is Concord and makes the best juice. That vine is Concord. Yes, it does make the best juice. Does make the best juice. Hey, Minnesota farmer's wife. It's cold and rainy there. Well, it's nice and sunny here today. Not a chemtrail in the sky. <laughs> I'm so funny. Um, well, I still, I pulled up my garlic plants last year and I thought I got only got two or three cloves on them. And I thought, well, pfft. So what I'm going to do is these ones are growing. And if when they put scapes out, I'll pinch the scapes off. But I'm going to plant all my leeks and Spanish onions in those beds. And I'll probably plant because I was planning on using three to four beds for onions anyway. Where's my little book? Where's my wee book? What have I got in there? I use this little calendar, this garden calendar that somebody gave me. But the problem is I got beans, beans, beans. Okay, beans can't go in that back bed. What is the well, your malfunction, Gracie? She's moaning over something. Uh, celery, zooks, onions, onions. Okay, I did not. There's my leeks. There's leeks. There's onions. There's onions. I'm going to have to rearrange my beds already. Hang on. I'll be right back. Wonder what the hell she's barking at. What, Gracie? What? 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 Take it. Fuck her off. Oh, you're bad. Holy crap, 
your bat. What an attention. What a, what a girl for attention, I tell you. She, a grocery bag, an empty grocery bag had fallen off the island and onto her rope on the floor. And I had to go move the bag. She's getting, yeah, she's needy today. But we took her with us. My great-grandfather taught me to plant garlic in between the new strawberry plants in fall because the strawberry plants will not grow big and need the extra spacing until after the, well, there, there's, there's garlic coming up in that bed. I don't know. I haven't a clue, people. Don't know what I'm doing, but stuff's growing. I got my chives are coming up. So it's, it seems to be, it's the time of the season for onions and garlic. This is actually under the lights on my table. But isn't that wild? I pulled one because it, it wasn't showing any growth. And then I regretted it because it had a nice long root. But you can see some of the roots coming near the bottom here. So I might have to plant them. Once I cut them down again, I'm going to replant them in a bigger pot. It's attacking her rope, I know. That grapevine spans over 30 feet of the fence and is starting to pull it over. He's finally building the giant arbor. Oh, that's, I, you're going to have to send us pictures, Alex. You're going to have to put pictures up on Facebook or... What? No, bugger off. You went, you had a PB&J. You had a hash brown. You got to ride in the truck and be with mommy and daddy. Now, bugger off. I mean it. Goodbye. I think I'm going to have, I have larger pots because I just got a great big, huge bag of pro mix because I have to, I have to transplant my three medicinal plants into bigger pots and how he's going to take them downstairs and put a, a special light on them because I don't like leaving my lights on 18 hours a day, but isn't that nice? And even the ends are starting to heal. Like I didn't think they would do that, but that's going to make something nice. Maybe in some scrambled eggs or something. Well, all the grapes hanging on it. Yeah. Spoiled day. All them goodies. Yeah. She, she got spoiled. That's for sure. Um, I think, I, I think I'm just going to, when, when the weather gets better, I'm just going to, I'm going to put a bunch of pots out on my deck with shit like this, excuse me, stuff like this in it. Like I'll put one of my big planters out there and I'll, I'll plant onions and herbs and stuff in it because you know what? I've got my planter out there that I grew my oregano, oregano in last year, the one I made out of the water bottle. I think I'm going to plant that with herbs. I've had to turn on the heating mat to finally get some of the seedlings to grow. Well, my pepper plants are only that big. They Everything else is just going absolutely, you know, batshit crazy. I got chives. I got leeks. My chives are coming up outside. I got Spanish onions and then I got these. So I don't know. And I got my apricot trees coming too. You know, by the time I have everything growing the way I want it, I'm going to be too old to garden. I heard that. Um, am I ever going to be too old to garden? It's like, oh, I don't need to go out the garden. Yes, you do, Bev. You got to start slow. You start got to start going out into the garden and pulling stuff. I want to find some chocolate mint to put on my porch rail. Wow, that sounds genetically modified, doesn't it? I've had to, yeah. Someone said that about the um, pepper plants is maybe they need heat, but I don't know. Couldn't, couldn't, couldn't tell me, you know. And I was only growing the pepper plants to plant um, in my onion beds anyway. I only want like four pepper plants. Now I'm going to need more because 
I'm going to plant my Spanish onions among this one bed of garlic. And I'm going to plant my leeks and some onions in the other two beds. But I think I'm going to have to give up another bed for onions and stuff. You want a GMO I saw on Instagram. My mother sent me the line of, of a tomato plant with a potato root. Oh, my God. They've been doing that for years. Potatoes and tomatoes are the same. They're not same. They, they come from the same food group or the same plant group. They're called nightshades. And technically, you can graft a tomato plant onto tomato or potato roots. However, it's, you're not going to get it to grow that way from a seed. Okay? So, found mine at Home Depot. Hey, Ninja Clan Kathy! I know, eh? I know. I love the stained glass in my window. I, I love it. So, I, you know, and I've got daffodils it coming up um, like crazy, like different kinds of daffodils. And my lilies are coming up. And right where my irises are planted is where I'm going to have to plant the uh, one of the apricot trees. So I'm kind of sad about that, but we'll see. Eventually, I'm going to plant I'm going to plant one on the other side of the pear tree. Eventually, I'm going to put another plant or another tree on this side of the pear tree and hope like hell that the plow doesn't, you know, push it down. Or maybe I'll put up a little snow fence or something, you know, to show that hey, I don't want these messed with, right? Ah, Home Depot. So that's what's going on in my life right now. I went out for a Sunday drive and came home and pulled a whole bunch of dead plants out of like mostly dead marigold plants uh, from those Jack, Cracker Jack marigolds that are huge. They grow like three feet tall, right? So, um, wow, they must be really, oh yeah, it's soon going to be. It's yeah. I, when we were up in uh, Mont Saint Marie, hunting season, they're they're um, buck. You know, you either get you have to join a lottery for a doe tag, but even the regular buck tags now they want three points on each antler. It's like, why do you even? You know, what are you doing? You're squeezing the shit out of us. But maybe it's because not enough uh, younger bucks are reaching maturity. I don't know. But uh, we got to remember to enter the dough lottery. What are the marigolds called that you like that you like to put with your cabbage? Dwarf French marigolds. I had a packet here. I just saw it the other day, and I thought you are not in the seed box. Where did you go? I saw you. I know I did. They're called dwarf French marigolds. Dwarf. And someone said, you don't plant dwarf French marigolds. You don't plant French marigolds with your cabbage. They attract the, the butterfly. No, they don't. They drive the butterfly away. Right? Um, someone, was to, someone asked me, you know how I freeze my rice, my oats, any grain products or flour products, cornmeal, anything. I always freeze it for a, a, a length of time to kill any um, bug eggs that are for grain bug eggs, like rice, lice, uh, grain lice and weevils and stuff. And someone said, well, that doesn't work because I froze all of my woolens and the moths still got them. I said, well... We don't have moths in our grain. Okay. Maybe moths don't freeze. Maybe that's why they stay in the wool. Right. It's only for things like, you know, grains, rice, cornmeal, oats, flour, any kind of thing like that. You freeze it for a certain length of time, like a 50 pound bag, you'd freeze minimum two weeks. And then you bring it out, you let it come up to room temperature, and then you jar it up. <laughs> Um, you know what you like to, you know, what likes to be planted with onions? I found out pepper plants 
any kind of pepper plant, if you plant a row, like if you've got short rows, right? Like if your rows are short, like you're in a raised bed like mine, you'd plant like, you know, seven or six or seven onions and then a, and two pepper plants and six or seven onions and two plants. But if it's a long row, every pepper plant, plant three or four. Okay. If I would do how many rows of onion? Yeah. Freezing won't help. Finished a bunch of yard work in the front and back. I'm beat. I bet you are sweet supper. I was out pulling weeds. Brassicas for pest to Just don't plant your tomatoes near your cabbage. For some reason, the tomatoes I plant too close to my cabbage that I planted some out back did not do well. But peppers and any kind of in the onion family, right? So if you're going to put two rows of, say, onions in, for every, every, I don't know, three feet or two feet of on, strip of onions, put a pepper plant and then start planting another strip of onions, pepper plant. Pepper plants and onions do really, really, really well together. Wool moths and pantry moths are two entirely different moths. I've never even uh, touched wood, never even heard of a pantry moth. So there you go. That's cold. I want my tea tea. Oh, get them in the freezer, Joe, or trust me, I, I got, I left it out once because I was going to bag it up and then freeze it. And I got a little tiny tear and, and I had to, I had to tear down the whole pantry and bleach everything and like vacuum and sweep and bleach everything because I got lice. It's called uh, flower lice, not, not weevils, flower lice. And that was a bitch. And then I put that whole bag in the freezer and I sifted them out. I sifted out the dead, the dead bugs. I froze it and then sifted out the dead bugs. Didn't get killed, nothing, you know. Waste not, want not. You guys have been telling me to do this forever. And I finally went, those have nice roots on them. So those are going to be my seasoning onions for this. But I'm going to plant a bunch outside. So, uh, what else is going on? Not much. Oh, yeah, I'm making pickles tomorrow. I'm making pickled eggs tomorrow. And I've been looking up because I want to reuse my pickle juice that's in the fridge. And they say, do not reuse pickle juice. Um, do not reuse pickle juice because whatever you, like the dill pickles, they absorb a lot of the salt and the acid. But I'm going to fix that problem. I ain't wasting it. Those onion greens would be good as a garnish as well. Exactly. But I mean, once they get to a certain height, then I will just trim off the, I'll, I will trim them, right? And I'll probably put them in a bigger pot and I will trim, I will trim the tops. And then whenever I need some, I'll just go out and trim them. I just won't pull them up. Like what a waste. Garlic mustard pickled eggs. Well, that's not quite where I'm going, but I'm going to make pickled eggs. You can reuse pickle juice. Just add more vinegar and salt. Thank you. So I've got, you know, I've got pickle juice. I got dill pickle juice, garlic dill pickle juice in the fridge. And tomorrow I'm going to show you how, because the way I look at it is, is when I make my brine, I use a quart of water and a pint of vinegar. So if I have a quart of pickle juice, I probably only need a cup of vinegar. Hi, Timothy. How's it going? My cucumbers, tomatoes, and pepper starts are looking puny. I might need to restart and see if I can buy some cheap. Well, I may have to buy pepper plants. I may have to buy pepper plants, but I'm only putting them in. For, I don't really get a lot of peppers. I'm only putting them in for, um, for my... Um, for my onions. Spanish onions. Did I see a green start? I did. There's some already starting. I suppose I could get these out soon. As soon as the ground can be worked, I've got a couple of beds clear. I'll go out and I'll plant them. It is good for, uh, are we talking leg cramps or belly cramps? Because I know the other night 
Now, don't ask me where I heard this, but I woke up in the middle of the night with a tickle in my throat I just could not get rid of. And, and when I go to bed, I take medication, so I'm kind of, but I swear I heard my mother say, go have a drink, little drink of pickle juice. So I took a couple of short swigs of the pickle juice I'm saving in the fridge. By God, it stopped me, my tickle in my throat. I couldn't believe it. Pickle popsicles. Now, how do you make those sweet, Sipper? I also add pickle juice to all of my salads and dressings, ham salad, tuna, chicken, roast beef salad. I also love to drink it or freeze it into popsicles. Oh, my God. That sounds really good, actually. But I know, like how he's got me on pickles again. But I, I do know that the bed I grew my watermelons in last year, I haven't decided whether I'm going to leave the trellis down or whether I'm going to put an arch of cow fencing up in the um, in the, the the bed that I'm going to plant the cucumbers in for all cramps. Really? Well, it is a great electrolyte. It's the vinegar. <clears throat> vinegar, you think about it. What's in Switzel, right? What's in Haymaker's Punch? Ginger, uh, honey or sugar, ginger, ginger, honey, and, and, and vinegar. Ginger, honey, and vinegar is pretty much Haymaker's Punch, right? A pickle pop is the most refreshing thing you've ever tasted. I will have to try that. I will have to try that. Yes, we're keeping the pool. As far as I know, we're keeping the pool. Um, we're going to go out and get new steps for it. Well, secondhand steps. And then Howie is going to figure out a way of reinforcing them so that when I lean on the railing coming out of the pool, sorry, I was just trying to think of if there was some kind of rope or something, right? That I could just from the roof maybe, and, and pull myself up on because it's leaning on the railings. Like my railings on my front steps going down the front steps have to be replaced soon too. It's basically a sugar-free Gatorade. There you go, and free. That's why when we were kids, we never had cramps because we ate uh, for snacks here. We're pickle, you know what? We never had pickles when I was a kid. I'd go down to my Aunt Josie and Uncle Joe's because Uncle Joe always had dill pickles. And I remember drinking pickle juice. You know, my mom goes, oh, don't do that. It'll thin out your blood. It's like Uncle Joe said, nonsense. If she was, if she's craving it, she wants it. There's a reason, right? And the same thing with match heads. I would, I would chew on match heads. And it didn't matter if they were burnt or fresh. I'd chew on match heads. As a matter of fact, the burnt ones taste better. Pickle juice is good for heartburn. Hey, Mama Dukes. Yeah, I went deep in thought for a minute I because I really want my pool to be my pool this year. I know it's not going to be heated because the heater got, it's, it's, the heater got busted. Um, w water got into something. He has to replace something else on something else that water got into. So, and if you accidentally get mushy pickles, then you're canning. When you're canning, turn those mushy pickles into relish. Well, I get, I, I don't grow regular pickle, uh, pickling, cuc I don't grow regular cucumbers. I never, I haven't for years. I grow pickling cucumbers because even when they're, they're semi-small, they're good in a salad, right? You just give them a scrub and slice them thin and then soak them in vinegar for a little bit or whatever, right? But um, I, uh, mostly in my relish, I use zucchini. And by God, I'm growing zucchini again this year. Just not four beds of it. I thought, one, two, three, I think I had five beds of zucchini last year. Four or five beds. Two. See, remember, remember back in in November, it was like, no, what zucchini am I, or what plant am I not growing this year? It was zucchini. Everybody said zucchini. And then I came back and said, okay, I'm putting them in one bed. Now it's two. We'll see. We'll see. Because I've got all these bags of frozen zucchini in the freezer. And 
I'm telling you like the chunks of it, how he doesn't like chunks. But I'll tell you something. I have used up all of my canned grated zucchini. I've used it all up. And that made me realize that I, I really liked having raw packed. I, mean, I know they say you shouldn't, but I, it, you know, I, it worked out really, really well. And one pint into a spaghetti sauce makes it thick. Yes, there's still water coming off. You got to cook the water off, but you don't know it's zucchini that's making it thick. You just think you've cooked the tomato sauce. It's really good. This is also really weird, but if you have those popsicles rubbing them over a sunburn, do you know what? No, that's not weird at all, Laura Higgins. My Aunt Jane, my mom's older sister. So Aunt Jane passed away in her 80s in 1998, somewhere around there. 1998. She, You know, my cousin Marilyn and, and her husband, the motorcycle guy, Johnny, it was her mom. Um, she looks just like Aunt Aunt Jane too. Only Aunt Jane had these snapping brown eyes and, and Marilyn and Marty both got uh, their dad's blue eyes and Ronnie got, God rest their souls. Ronnie and, and Mar uh, Ronnie and Joni are now, not Mark. Ronnie and Joni are now passed away. Ronnie got brown. Who cares? Anyway. Um, and I remember, we remember going up and visiting Aunt Jane just before my mom died, because I remember Aunt, uh, Aunt Jane saying to mom, oh, you're going to be a grandma again, eh? And like, you're going to be a grandma. Yeah, when, uh, we all know Wendy's pregnant, right? And she went, no, you're going to be a grandma again. And she went, oh, no. Mom passed away before either one of those grandbabies were born. But that was one of the last, I remember, because my Aunt Jane was fae, like me, right? And uh, anyway, um, she had foster kids, foster kids. And one of her foster sons was like 15 or 16. And I guess he had taken a canoe trip down the creek. And he got really badly sunburned. And I remember him sitting out in the shade on the front step and her just pouring apple cider vinegar onto a rag and just like just pouring it. Vinegar helps. See, what happens is when your skin's an organ and when you burn your skin, right, it loses a lot of pH. But if you get it before it blisters and peels and you give it several good coats of of um, apple cider vinegar, it helps keep the rest of the pH from leaving your skin and it'll turn it to tan if you catch it fast enough. Hey, Carol, how are you? Absolutely. Always use use vinegar to take the the uh, sting out of sunburns. Absolutely. There you go. See, I made I made that way too long of a story, didn't I? But apple cider vinegar is best. And what uh, now? I only have three kinds of vinegar that I like. I like white vinegar for cleaning. I like cider vinegar if I can get my hands on it for pickling and relish. The best relish you can make, okay? It's not about whether it's green tomatoes or chopped zucchini or chopped cucumber. As long as you got the onions and the veg in there and the seasonings, what makes all the difference in the world between oh, good relish and great relish, cider vinegar and brown sugar every single time. Noxema, I haven't seen Noxema in years. Well, that's because it's cool, eh? Oh, I put my finger, my fingertips only. This one actually, they, they, you know, this one actually scabbed over a little bit. But putting them in that snow right away. And then when we came in to watch TV, I got a little baggie, like a little milk bag, and I rolled it down, put some ice cubes in it. And I just kept putting my hand, my fingers in. And then when it got too cold, I'd put them, you know, I'd pull them out, I'd put them back in, pull them out. That's what saved, I swear, that's what saved my fingertips. I'm not fussy on red wine vinegar. Jellyfish stings. Well, Rosie, I've never heard that and I've never seen a jellyfish. So, but vinegar for sunburns, absolutely. It helps because of the pH. It helps neutralize, you know, the, the burning, right? 
Hey, Robin's Nest, how's it going? Just before I came live, I had a little visit with Bubba. He's out puttering in the dirt with a shovel and a rake. Got to get him up here, man, before they teach him all the wrong things about gardening. <laughs> the next best thing to popsicles or vinegar is a is a hot as I can stand it bath with Epsom salts. It's something with the salt and vinegar mix for me. Now you got me craving fish and chips. Malt vinegar is the best for fish and chips. During summer scout camps, we bought gallons of whole pickles, froze the juice to give the scouts to help with hydration, and then the pickles for a snack. Howie's got to have pickles now. Got to have pickles. And I'm using the, the, the bigger jars again. I'm going to use the bigger jar. The pickle jar. Why? A, it's not getting canned. And B, pickled eggs go in the fridge. So you can use whatever. You can use a crock in your fridge. A bowl with a lid if you want. Well, I think Arthur's going to come up and help Howie with the roof. Like we're getting new shingles on the roof. So it's only this one spot that where they're, I don't know why it's all rough, but my son is getting a pup on Tuesday, his own first one, puppy proofing the house on a sunny day. Well, puppy proof your child. How old's your son, Robin's Nest? Because the things that are the hardest things to teach, to teach a dog are so the the easy it's so easy to teach a dog you just have to be consistent and don't mix your messages oh he's 27 oh for god's sake well tell him this every time a puppy wakes up from a nap take it straight outside for a pee they pee every time they wake up and if you want to make it poop before you bring it back in the house i don't believe in puppy pads i really don't because you're teaching them how to use something inside that's not going to be available to them later, right? So as hard as it is on my knees, every time a puppy, the puppy, you know, the, for the first few weeks, they stay in a crate in my office here with me. And then when I get up, the puppy goes outside for a pee and we have a run around and I teach it how to fetch. And when you run the puppy up and down or you just walk up and down the driveway and have the puppy follow you, eventually it'll want to poop. So, yeah, so make sure as soon as the puppy wakes up, it goes out to the bathroom and that your son stays outside and teaches it to play fetch or even to chase him while he's walking to heal, walking up and down the driveway or whatever, right? Um, that will get him to poop. So that's, that, that's my two biggest pieces of advice for, um, for training puppies. As soon as they wake up, take them outside for a pee. That's why I always get puppies in the spring. I don't believe it. What, what do you mean what happened, Rosie? Real. Balsamic vinegar is another delicious one. Also, Nakano want, uh, vinegar. I think I have, or is that soy sauce, Chinese soy sauce I have. <sighs> and take puppy out about 20 minutes after eating to poop. Yeah, you got to get them out there running around to work that poop out. Why, why would you ask if you're crazy, BlackRock? Kimmy, what's going on? Why? Why are, would you say you're crazy? Because I remember, folks, if you're typing in capital letters, you only got 20 spaces to make your sentence in, to make your, your statement in if you're type or not 20, 100 characters. And that includes spaces and punctuation. If you're making a statement and it's in lowercase, you have 200. Right. Otherwise, Google, uh, YouTube deletes the message because they think you're spamming. A different live just started. Where? Where? I don't see another live. Did I start a live on something else? Nope. It should be a really nope. great rep No, I I only have one live going on. Only one live. So I got um for our half acre homestead folks. I'm going to be 
I'm probably going to videotape me transplanting my herbal, my herbal medication plants uh, for cooking the cooking with cannabis channel on Rumble. I'm probably going to transplant my tomato plants again. Uh, I might might give them another week. What's the title of the other live? It might be something that that was up yesterday and it's no longer there, BlackRock. Might be something like that. Anyway, so we went out. I bought Spanish onion sets. I got basil, zucchini, parsley, just in case I don't have any. I got to get them started too. You got me, but I got you. I got you. So anyway, folks, I'm going to now go and empty the dishwasher, water my plants, and I think I'm going to start dinner. We're just going to have egg sandwiches for supper, I think. I wonder. No, no, that's tomorrow. Isax, have a good night's sleep. Got to go 11 p.m. here and have to get up early for work tomorrow. Okay, sweetheart, get some rest. Anyway, folks, thanks for hanging out with me. I have onions and herbs and more onions. And I have three beds of garlic growing. Oy, I'm going to have to find room for another garden bed. Take care. God bless. Maybe I'll be live tomorrow repotting stuff. You never know. Have a good one, folks. And patrons, I will see you tomorrow afternoon for the patrons 4 o'clock unlisted live stream. We'll talk then. Love you guys. Take care. God bless.